because it's Dwight, I'm back. It is Friday. And I've got my setup here to do a 20 by 20 um, gallery wrapped canvas pour. And let me tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing and how I mix the paints. So I'm going to be doing um, a puddle pour and swirl or a dump and swirl. And I'm going to be using these colors. Now, the last video I mentioned sort of my mystery paint. So I am going to try it again today and see how it works, but I'm going to use less of it and just on the initial puddle. The rest of these paints were mixed with um, one part paint, two part Floetrol, and a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium and then water. So the silver here is Shivering Silver by Deco Arts Metallics. And this turquoise color is teal, oops, <laughs> teal. And again, it's Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics. Um, now this is copper and it's Liquitex Basics Acrylics. And then this is a really cool color. It looks like it's kind of bronzy, but it's really, it's called Rich Espresso. And again, it's Deco Art Metallics. And then my dump paint is just Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black with a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium and about the same ratio of flow trawl to the paints and then water to thin it down. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to prep the edges. I usually say, if you've watched some of my videos, I prep them since I have a white canvas and I'm going to be using some darker colors and the paints are thin, I want the corners and edges not to be white or to show through the thin paint. So this also allows for the paint to stick, to adhere better to the corners and edges because it is um, thin and this makes it tacky. Not tacky in a bad way, but tacky in a sticky way. Okay, so bear with me. Whoops. Making a mess here. And this is just plain old Liquitex, um, I'm sorry, um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black. Right out of the bottle. Nothing mixed in with it. Just good old um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black. And this, you know, you can use any black. Actually, this is just, at least here in the States, it's cheaper. It's easier to to come by and to buy in bulk, so to speak. Okay. I don't want them to too thick. Smooth it out. And guys, if this works out well and dries well, um, in my notes below, I will put the actual recipe for this. Okay? It's level, but it's not level, so hopefully that will not create a problem. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, well, stay tuned. Here we go, and um, fingers crossed.
Hey, my friends, I'm back. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, I like that it's light in the middle and then with the negative space. So, you know, my secret formula, to be honest with you, really isn't a secret formula. It's just my base coat formula from my previous pores. So it's just Artist Loft White with a little bit of satin enamel, um, a tiny bit of Floetrol, and some Liquitex Pouring Medium. It's that simple. And I just poured a little bit, as you saw, um, and this is what I got. So let's move in a little bit, see some of the details. I wasn't sure about using the, um, what's it, the Espresso with the copper, but I'm glad I did because it makes it stand out a little bit. And then with the blue, and then I got that cool white cell in the middle. Now, you probably saw me during the time lapse move this around a lot. I was worried that I wouldn't get enough coverage in the middle. Now, I know some people might not like the negative space. Uh, this is just a certain style of painting. It goes back to Melly D. Um, hers are pretty epic because she did some really big canvases. And, um, <clears throat> I just started last year working with metallics, and, and then I started liking the way that this turned out. That's unique, it's different. Um, you know, you can be a little bit more creative. You can place the center off to one side or over here and have more of the cells in the background and a negative space in a corner. There's different ways of doing that, and I'm going to experiment that pretty soon. So I am happy. Uh, it's starting to dry. If you can see, the edges are starting to... Where's my finger? <laughs> They're starting to get a little, they're, you know, shrinking up. And I think that's it. I don't think much is going to happen after this, to be honest with you. So I appreciate your support and your encouragement. And um, yeah, we're going to see it tomorrow. I'm going to work on another one. Um, it might be a similar dump and swirl, but a little bit of a twist to it. So we'll see how that goes. You guys take care. Have a great start to the weekend.